Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. This is Wednesday of Ordinary Time. Proper eight in the church calendar. Ordering our understanding of time with the grand narrative, with the story of the Lord. If you have a prayer request, as always, you can go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. It'd be our honor and our joy to pray for you and with you. Thank you for your support. If you'd like an ad-free version of this podcast, you can make a monthly contribution of any amount. benwardmusic.com slash donate and if you already are a monthly supporter you will be receiving information on that new feed shortly in the crushing in the pressing you are making new eyes in the soil I now surrender You are breaking new ground So I yield to you and to your careful hand When I trust you I don't need to understand So make me a vessel Make me an offering Make me whatever You want me to be I came here with nothing But all you have given me Jesus, bring new wine Out of me In the crushing In the pressing, you are making new wine. In the soil I now surrender, you are breaking new ground. You are breaking new ground. Make me a vessel, make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. I came here with nothing, but all you have given me, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, bring new wine. Out of me, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Because where there is new wine, there is new power, there is new freedom. Kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today. Cause where there is new wine, there is new power, there is new freedom, and the kingdom is here. Lay down my old flames to carry
carry your new fire today. So make me a vessel, make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. I came here with nothing but all you have given me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, bring new Thank you, Lord. Bring new wine out of us, and Lord, may we be new wine skins that can receive your new wine. Lord, I just pray for the new. I thank you that you are the one that makes all things new, that you don't throw away, you redeem. Show us what needs to be redeemed today. Show us what needs to be renewed. Made new. Amen. Psalm 119, 145 through 176. I call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. According to your promise, give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion. O Lord, preserve my life according to your judgment. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you, Because of your righteous judgments, great peace have they who love your law. For them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and I have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live, and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. 
I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. You search for me, you search for me, Lord. Oh, you search for me, oh, you search for me. You search for your servant, you search for me, God. When I am lost, you come and find me, Lord. You search for me, God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading on this Wednesday of Ordinary Time, proper eight in the church calendar, the book of Matthew. Chapter 21, 33 through 46. Jesus said, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. And when the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another and stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realized that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 
Collect of the Day, the prayer we pray together collectively. This Wednesday, in ordinary time, proper eight in the church calendar. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let's take a few moments and have free prayer, a prayer where you can pray specifically and by name for those in your life. Friends, acquaintances, co-workers, family, situations, circumstances, burdens, your enemies. Jesus commands us to pray for our enemies and bless those who curse us. Or you can just sit in his presence, enjoy his fellowship, sit at his feet, and know that you are loved, you are guided, you are led. I just ask you today for new beginnings, for things that are stale and tired, that they would be renewed, that you would make all things new. Start with us, God. Start with our minds. Renew our minds. Renew our spirits. Renew our souls, God. Renew our bodies, God. Make things new. Relationships. Rekindle, reconcile. Thank you, Lord. I just pray today for new beginnings. You are the maker of all things new. Thank you, Lord. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Behold, the old is gone and the new has come. You are a new creation. Walk in newness of life today. Amen and amen. Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Thank you for your support. Remember, any monthly contribution of any amount get a feed with no ads as a thank you. Thank you. Let's pray together again tomorrow. Bye-bye.